In an ideal world, all moms would have the day off today, right? Maybe put their feet up, but I think we all know the reality. Being a mom is a round-the-clock, never-ending job. Today is the one day, though, that children are supposed to acknowledge this. And as News 6's Amanda Castro shows us, some did. It's Mother's Day up and down Park Avenue. We've got first time moms and moms with lots of grandchildren here celebrating this special day and everyone soaking it up and enjoying the moment. Can you autograph my star? A day for moms. It's such a change in your life. Celebrating the good times. It's the most fulfilling thing in the world. You know, I can't think of anything better. I wish everybody could experience it. And the tough times. T second and third. No, second and third. <laughs> That's why I'm not showered this morning. You know? Mothers with children all grown up, still competing for their mom's love and affection. Every time there's a Mother's Day or birthday, they all have to be the first to call. You know, and they have this little little contest amongst themselves, and then they get to the gloat. That's really the yeah you know, the prize. They get to the gloat. To first-time mothers, still getting the hang of their new role. Incredible. Exhausting. Joyful. <laughs> My husband just fed me that line. I wouldn't trade it for the world. No. Look at that face. A day filled with family, flowers, and gratitude to the special women who do so much. For me, it's uh, a time to kind of thank God for uh, Rosemary being in my life and making my life. A day to slow down, enjoy a walk or meal together, run around in the park, chasing after the person who makes the long days and nights worthwhile. She was never much of a sleeper, so I always said that I could probably handle whatever she brought as long as we could sleep through the night. And although there's only one day marked on the calendar just for moms, we all know it's a year-long celebration. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Amanda Castro, News 6.